Lethal Company. So by now there's a good chance you've spent countless hours playing this game or you have at least heard of it. Lethal Company has completely taken the gaming industry by storm, outselling AAA titles like Modern Warfare 3 and being one of the most popular games currently streamed on Twitch. But the question is, how does an indie game developed by a single developer grow this big and this fast? Well, let's talk about it. All my fellas. What? What? Oh. So, in case you've been living under a rock for the past month, what is Lethal Company? Lethal Company is a cooperative horror game involving visiting different planets to collect loot to sell in order to meet a required quota. Each quota has a three day deadline. You basically work for some random alien hoarder and if you don't meet the quota, well... <laughs> to collect loot, you go to different planets and explore what could be considered these little space bunkers filled with a variety of different monster types. Sounds fun, right? So what really made this game so popular in the first place? At first glance, you might look at the game and say it looks a bit simple, with crappy graphics that look like they came from a Sega Genesis, but where the game shines is actually in its interactability, graphics, and personality. Lethal Company, unlike most horror games, is not a game you want to play alone. And not because it's just too scary, but because the fun of the game actually comes from interacting with your friends. Let me explain. On the ship, you can buy different tools such as walkie-talkies, flashlights, shovels, etc. And each of these tools allows you to interact with each other in different ways. Buying the right gear and picking the right moon feels like a strategic attempt to thrive on your run. You can use this gear in different way, approaching your run differently each time. Maybe someone stays on the ship and scans the computers to see if enemies are nearby, giving you comms over the walkie-talkie. Maybe somebody holds the flashlight while somebody else has a shovel for combat. Or maybe somebody brings a beatbox to just jam out. The gameplay loop itself is really simple, but it requires some skill in strategizing with your teammates to actually be successful in meeting your quota. There's a constant sense of stakes, risk or reward, as each decision you make heavily influences how successful your run is going to be. And that's part of the fun of it. The game keeps you on edge wondering if you're making the right decision and if you're going to meet quota on time. Each run comes with a different approach, and the things you buy, how much money you have to spend, changes this approach each time. The gameplay is also unique in the sense of how you handle the monsters. They all function in different ways and react to different things. For example, the coil head will run at you full speed, but once you look at it, it freezes completely. Little bugs might come at you and try and steal your loot, while well, the spider might fill the area with webs to slow you down. There are a multitude of monsters, and when encountering each of these enemies, you gotta handle it differently, which is where I believe a majority of the fun actually comes from. You don't know what to expect when you go in, you don't know which monsters you're gonna run into. And like I said before, the gear affects how you can handle those monsters. Not to mention, these creatures are actually scary. There have been multiple occasions where I was walking, and I just felt my soul leave my body because of these creatures. So besides the gameplay being something we haven't seen before, a big complaint with modern day gaming is a lot of games just don't feel special anymore. This is mainly due to developers focus on one thing, money. How much people can squeeze out of a game through microtransactions and battle passes are now one of the biggest parts of gaming. A lot of developers and studios prioritize profit over actual creativity and new gameplay features. So many games now have similar gameplay loops with just different coats of paint on them. They fail to innovate and create something new. Rather, they just push out what feels like the same game as the past with a little difference in between. They just keep doing what's worked in the past because they know it'll keep bringing in more money. These games feel soulless. In Lethal Company, cosmetics aren't something you purchase with real life money, but rather, they're part of the progression system in the game, motivating you to hit the next quota so you can buy new decorations for your ship or a drippy new spacesuit. You can tell a developer's main motive isn't just to make money. He actually cares about the game and considers community feedback to continuously improve the quality. 
He's not pumping out new item shop skins or new battle passes. He's pumping out new game content. Not to mention, this game is also super affordable. It's only $10, which is probably another big reason for its success. People can buy it so easily. It's not like they have to contemplate spending $70 like most AAA studios now. These AAA studios are giving you $70 games for a half-baked product. Now, one of the main reasons this game shines is its personality. And its personality really shines through its graphics. Well, at first glance, you think, damn, this shit is ugly, but it's actually kind of part of the appeal. The graphics retro vibe only enhance the experience, and after playing the game for a little bit, you can tell these graphics are actually very fitting to the game. The planets, the ships, and the creatures all feel really immersive, and walking around each planet genuinely makes you feel like you're on some unknown drifting space rock. There's a sense of the unknown. If the graphics looked like a triple A title game with ray tracing and a 4K resolution, I actually think the game would have been way less likely to pop off. The unique graphics are now just a part of the game's identity and are part of what makes the game so special. It's different, it's unique. So in conclusion, Lethal Company has been so popular for one single reason. It's innovative. The graphics, the pricing, the passion, and the gameplay are all just something we don't see enough in modern day gaming. With fresh ideas, Lethal Company has broken through the, the formulaic gameplay of modern day horror games and just games in general. It's providing us with something new that's truly special and unique. Lethal Company is willing to do something new games just aren't, and you can feel a real sense of passion was put into every little detail of the game. In all seriousness, Lethal Company is definitely one of the best games out there right now, and if you haven't checked it out, I would 100% recommend checking it out and just giving it a shot. It's only $10, and it's so much fun. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Um, I know it's been a while since I've made a video, but I wanted to try something new with this kind of analysis style video. I just wanted to expand my horizon and just try something a little bit different. So let me know definitely what you thought of this video in the comments and any criticism or feedback is definitely welcome. You know, I'm definitely like open to trying new things and improving. Um, yeah, I just, I appreciate you guys watching. So I would also really appreciate it if you could smash the like button. If you did enjoy the video, it would help it get out to other people and it would mean a lot and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. So thanks for watching guys. Peace out.